So Big Brother this week was crazy. Starting off with Sam as HOH and all that craziness, and then her power up and play. I mean, let's get down to my recap and review and predictions for this week. I'm Tessa with MamasGeeky.com. So when Sam won HOH, I was super excited because I love Sam. And then she went all crazy pants, right? Like she was like, don't come to my room without me. Uh, I'm having no one-on-one -on -one discussions with anyone. I know what I'm doing and oh well, I'm not telling anybody what I'm doing. And that, it was crazy. It was nuts. I had no clue who she was going to put up. None. I didn't even know she was going to maybe put up Tyler or JC. It was crazy. So then she goes and she puts the girls up. And what does she do? But she like totally attacks their character when she puts them up. Now, she's not wrong. I get it. From home, I hate sitting and watching the girls win and get far by, you know, batting their eyes and sleeping with the guys. I don't like seeing that. If they really care about the person... Like, as much as I don't like them, Jessica and Cody last season, now they're engaged, great, right? And they didn't even get that far anyways. But she shouldn't have just called them out on it to their faces. That totally hurts her game. So she was one of my favorites, and now I think she's really put a target on her back and, and hurt herself. Her only saving grace in this game is that she can say, well, I knew my power up was going to be in play. I only put people up who I knew could potentially come back. I didn't want to put up my target, right? That's what you can easily tell people. I didn't want to put up my target because I didn't want him to go home and come back and come after me. I like you. I wanted to give you a chance to come back. May or may not work, um, but it's better, right? It's an excuse. Uh, but still calling people out like that and acting like it was a dictatorship all up in there. That was crazy. I'm like, these people are going to want to get her out because they're not going to want to deal with her dictatorship HOH again. And then the veto competition. How nuts was that, guys? I don't know why Fessy even wanted to play because he's putting himself in a horrible position. He had two people that were 100% on his side. Two, two. And they're both on the block, Caitlin and Haley. Both have a chance of going home and he wants the veto. Why does he want to win the veto? That's nuts. So he had, he ends up winning the veto, of course, and then he has to decide between the two girls. Of course, he goes with the girl he's hooking up with. And so Caitlin gets really upset. She's supposedly his best friend. Well, let's cut to, to last night and uh, Caitlin goes home, right? She gets kicked out or voted out, I should say. Then she gets the easiest, easiest puzzle to come back into the house. I mean, it was like six pieces. I think it was like six pieces and, and, and she almost had it and she sat down and gave up. That was, I mean, it was just ridiculous. I don't know why she even bothered. I, I, it's so crazy. She must have just, the pressure got to her, I suppose. But I was like, how, I mean, how did you not do that? It was like six pieces and it was so easy. I thought for sure Big Brother was trying to get her to come back. They made it so easy, but she didn't and now she's gone home. I don't know who HOH is. I'm interested to see who it could be. Uh, anybody really I think I'd be okay with. Um, I really do like Tyler though. I don't want to see him go home. So someone that's good for his game winning would make me happy. However, he does still have his power app in play where he can send himself to the cloud and not be allowed to go up on the block. So that's all right. We also still have Bailey's power app in play where she can change the nominations. I don't know what's going to happen this week. But I'm really looking forward to it. And of course, expect the unexpected, right? I don't know. It's been a good season so far. I really, I really like it. I think my top three favorites are Sam still. I don't know why. She's crazy, but I still kind of like her. Uh, Tyler and JC. I'd like to see any of them win, although I'm not sure if they will. I think Tyler's playing the best game. He's still, like people still think... He's on everyone's side, right? Because of Brett's little thing with Rockstar, kind of throwing Rockstar under the bus. Um, it kind of seems like she's the one who flipped and it puts doubt in people's minds and they weren't sure who was flipping or who did this or they, I think they think it was Caitlyn. So um, Tyler kind of got away with it. And Tyler's still kind of sitting in the middle of the house. He's sitting pretty. Um, I don't know how long that will last for, but I do really like him and I totally respect his gameplay. I think he's playing a great game. That's all I got for this week. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you think of Big Brother this week. What do you think is going to happen next week? Who would you like to see win HOH? And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.